Hi everybody, happy Tuesday. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com here with 2022 Topps Archives Baseball 10 box figure team number five. Uh, all cards ship. Big thanks to everybody here for making it happen. Now if you have a little rooftop next to your name, that means you won that spot. If you have double rooftops, that means you won an extra spot and then won that team. So however you got in via team random or just buying us team straight up, Thank you. Russell with the double last spot mojo. Met and Padres. There's everybody else. Thank you very much, everyone. Appreciate it. So this is a little bit of a longer break, so just kick back and relax. We've got all the archives boxes here. Pull a few out here. Alright, you should be able to see that on my face camera right here. So there's one, two, three, four, five right here, and then we've got another five right on our screen right there. And away we go. Uh, we got two autographs per box on average. We got these fun little box toppers right here. Isn't Charlotte also considered the queen city? That'll go to the reds, that'll be for Aaron. Ooh, is that right, chat? You're actually trying to get every Stars and Stripes bangle ever printed. I think there are seven at this point. You have three. You can't find two of them at all. Hmm. Not on eBay, not on any Facebook group or something like that. Yeah, it's your first hit, Aaron, on the board with the box topper. In case you're wondering, those box toppers, uh, they are not odd. They're, I don't think there are any autograph possibilities there, but there are normal, regular sized versions of those postcard type cards that can be autographed. At the Lakers game on my TV up there so if you see my eyes dart over that way that's what I'm looking at Warriors are up 39 31 with a lot of game left so 650 left in the second quarter we're not even at halftime yet Lakers hanging tough yeah so who do you need T Higgins or March Chase Mark Walton Ryan Finley Are those the only Bengal Stars and Stripes ever printed? Or is it just for that one year? Chad's got a fun little project going on here. Never seen the last two, but they are on the checklist for when you can see. And those are only in those first off line boxes, right? I guess we'll have to try to find more of those. Maybe put them on the site. Chad Da, of course, some of you may know that got a real nice, uh, real nice Joe Burrow Stars and Stripes RPA from us in the group break a while back. Got it graded. Came back. What, what did it come back again? Nine ten, which is pretty good. Went to Beckett recently. Got a tour of their vault. You know, nice grade on the card. Also a lot of nice stuff. So congrats. Again, Chad. It's a life that's a life changer. Big hit like that. There's Julio Rodriguez. And that is uh, for Jackie and the Mariners. 
Yeah, it was a 9-10. Nice. Hey, get your at-bats in, ladies and gentlemen. Dreams can come true. Oh, so Stars and Stripes starting in 2017. I got you. Now, sometimes the variations here are a little, little hard to spot. Some of them are pretty obvious, but... Um, all card chips. So if I miss one, don't worry. We'll still get to you. And here is Dodgers edition of Paul Canerico. Kind of wish that he, uh, he he was never traded. 68 out of 99. Stephen Kendrick with my Dodgers. Got my Dodgers in the team random. Jonathan Kent saying, nicknamed the Queen City. Charlotte and its resident county are named in honor of Charlotte of Mecklenburg, the Queen Consort of British King George during the time of the city's founding. But why do they call – is Cincinnati the same – is for the same reason? Was there an Altuve numbered card? Yeah, Jonathan has a sharp eye for these. I do not. see an Altuve. Well, it'll ship. Either way. Where, wherever it is, it'll ship. There's an Arenado to 199 and a Wander Franco. Not true, Rex. In a group break, I want to make sure that the that the cards get to the right person, especially since Jackie picked up the Astros straight up, Rex. So somewhere in there, Jackie. All card ship, it'll get to you. And there's a Michael Brantley for Jackie in the Astros. Yes, there you go, Jackie. Thanks for grabbing the Astros. Got some foil here. It's Ronzi Contreras. 38 out of 50. Oh, it was a McCormick, not an Altuve. There's a Bobby Wood Jr. for the Royals. And that will be for Mark. Picked up the Royal straight up. Let's see if I can find that. Usually the numbered cards are pretty obvious, Hadden. How did I miss that Chaz McCormick? Oh, I was almost at the very beginning. 
I thought these silver borders were not numbered, but that's 10 out of 99. All right, so there you go, Jack. You found it. Jack with the Astros straight up, and there's Bobby Witt Jr., first of many, we hope. All right, so that was box one. Next box. There's greetings from Atlanta. Ronald Acuna Jr. That'll be for the Braves. That's going to go to Jared and the Bravos. Wait, is, is Chad claiming that he's poor? He's the guy sitting on that Joe Burrow, taking trips to Dallas, checking out Beckett facilities. We've got a, we've got a tab on our break schedule that's 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 Chad Daw Baseball Stadiums, Just hitting up all these baseball stadiums. Seems like he has a lot of time, a lot of money, traveling around. Now wait till tax season rolls around. Boy, Chad will be rolling in the dough. Chad will be rolling in the dough. Cooking all the books for the people hit hard by inflation. Businesses hit hard by inflation. Well, you should be cooking some books. In the accounting industry, they call him Chef Chad. It's like, oh, is your tax bill going to be kind of big? Let's go talk to the chef. He'll take care of you. Um, we do not allow links to be dropped in... Uh, in YouTube, on, on YouTube to avoid people, uh, people spamming. It's Kevin Smith, 20 out of 50. Chad, you should uh, tag us, tag that, um, that graded Joe Burrow on Twitter, at Jaspie's Breaks. I know Aaron's on Twitter. He retweets our stuff Every so often, tags us on his mail days. Being part of the Jaspi community. And we've got Travis Ishikawa for Rick and the Giants. Well, you should be, Chad. Maybe there's someone out there on Twitter land with the other stars and stripes that you're looking for, or someone will be referred to you there. Got to cast a, a wide net. There's Nolan Ryan to 125. That is Astro's edition of Nolan Ryan. That's for Jackie and the Strohs. And we got a draft pick autograph, Reed Detmers. For the Halos, Franklin picking up the Angels straight up. It's the Reed Detmers autograph. Oh, yeah, you should put a bounty on that. Oh, that's not a bad idea. 
137 out of 150. Jose Abreu to 75. All right, another box down. I'll do an autograph recap at the end of this break as well. Had a couple baseball games today. We got uh, the makeup from the rain out the night before. Yankees advancing to the ALCS. They beat the Guardians five to one. Who does everyone have in that, uh, that ALCS? Yankees versus the Astros. I think the Yankees have home field advantage. No, Astros do. So they'll so the Yankees will be flying to Houston probably probably tonight. They might be there already at this point. Mary, what's going on? All right, next box. Mary's got the Astros beating the Yankees. That's going to be a good matchup. When was the last time the Yankees have gone to the ALCS? Is it, it's been a few years. Not, not a number of years, maybe. maybe. Maybe it was the time they faced the Astros. The last time they faced the Astros? Yeah, but... Definitely a, a revenge factor there for the Yankees. Chad says Yankees in four. Stanton home run, a judge home run. That pushes that pushed the Yankees past the Guardians. Um, great season for the Guardians. It doesn't feel like that now, but I think they're definitely ahead of schedule. A couple moves here and there. They might be right back in it. <laughs> you know what, Jonathan? I probably was. All, these, these breaks all blur together now. That Yankees, uh, if you know, I, I think Judge kind of had a rough divisional series. I think the two or three hits he did have in the whole series, I think, were home runs. But, but otherwise, a little, little tough for him. But if those Yankees bats start to wake up, that's going to be, that's going to be pretty dangerous. Should make for a good, uh, for a good CS. Now I wonder if the long. You know, some people were, I mean, were suggesting that maybe a long layoff affected some of the, the DS teams. I wonder if that holds true for the Astros. I feel like they've, they've had to wait an extra long time. There were a couple of these Guardians-Yankees games that were rained out and pushed back. There's 3 out of 25, Charlie Blackman for the Rockies, Aaron. But let's see how that affects the Strohs coming out of the gate. Have starters been named? I don't think so. It's a TBS game, though. No, it looks like Jamison Tyon will take the bump for the Yankees. And um, Justin Verlander will be taking the mound.
And all of these wanders will go to chat. And the raise. Let's see if we can find some low numbers for him, or maybe even some ink. Got Stan the Man to 199. For the Cardinals, that'll be for David. Julio Rodriguez going to Jackie and the Mariners. Picked up the M straight up. There's Bobby Witt Jr. For the Royals, wow! And a 1988 Topps Big Mini Autograph Parallel, Shohei Otani. I think we got short an autograph here, but they say it's on on average. But that's that could make up for two. Nice one for the Angels. That'll be for Franklin. Picked up the Halos straight up. And rewarded with this mini auto, Shohei Otani. He's going to spend another year with the Angels, but recently interviewed at, a, at an airport in Japan and uh, pretty much admitted, hey, the season was, was a disappointment, a negative for him. There's Luis Robert, south side. Um, there, there are non-autograph minis that are here. So I'll, maybe we'll see one. Um, it's, it's not like a Ginter. It's not like an Allen and Ginter mini. It's probably about, about that size right there. So it's like maybe maybe two Allen and Ginter or one and a half Allen and Ginter type minis, but it's not like the thin Allen and Ginter minis. They're a little bit larger. But we have pulled we have pulled them before. I think they're also hand numbered. If I'm not mistaken. I guess that's why I call it a big mini. It's not really a mini. It's bigger than a mini, but not a full-size card. And whatever that, I guess, 1988 design was, is that what, the, is the wood border 88? Uh, those, all, those all blur together as well. Ah, hand number to 20. Okay. I mean, I suppose there may be possibilities that there are parallels. Maybe not. I'm sure the checklist will say. All right, another box. And there is Manny Trio. For the Cubs, that's going to be for David M. There you go, yeah. Rex has a Nolan Ryan mini hand numbered when he hit in 2020. Probably a little more than half the size of a normal card. 
It's a big mini. All right, we got a Bobby Wood Jr. Sort of a sassy mustache, a sassy look he's giving us there. That goes to Kansas City. That'll be for Mark. And 18 out of 25, Jose Altuve for Jackie and the Strohs. Right, yeah, and the ones we've seen, Mike is right, they are horizontal cards. Landscape mode. We might find a non-autoed one here too. We see them every once in a while. Those mini cards, or big minis, are a little short printed. Shane Boz is uh, a black border 86 out of 99. Black parallel for Chad and the Rays. Mary saying people are sleeping on Stephen Kwan. You think he's better than Wander Franco? I agree that people might be sleeping on Stephen Kwan. I don't think he's better than Wander Franco though. There's Garrett Anderson. Another Angels auto. Franklin with the Halos. Angels in the outfield. 35 out of 150. All right, box five. And greetings from New York. All rise. Aaron Judge. Oh, it looks like Rex is going to get a new phone on Thursday. A few months back, dropped it outside of work. It cracked the screen pretty good. Everything was working fine. But now you have lines and stuff where it's difficult. To, you can't watch Jaspies like that. I mean, that's the primary reason for your phone, right? You can't watch Jaspies like that. Terrible. No more potato phone for Rex. So Rex, what phone do you have now and what phone are you getting? Let us know. Let us know just how potato -y your phone is. Maybe Rex can't even type now. Not that his line's already. Hey, this holiday season, ladies and gentlemen, you know, maybe ask for uh, maybe ask for a new uh, a new Jaspi watching device, an iPad, a tablet, a new phone, an iPhone X. I don't even know an iPhone X. 
That came out in 2017. It's definitely time for an update. Yeah, clearly not. <laughs> that Rick's like, I'm not big on getting the biggest and best phones, obviously. Well, that, what, 17, actually not that long, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, five years? What 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 does what do they say? I think they say that you should probably should probably you could probably get your phone to maybe change your phone every two three years is what they say. And a lot of times you could stretch it to to five years. Here is a future stars Wander Franco forty out of ninety nine. Nice to see some of these numbered Wander Francos. That's for Chad Daw and the Tampa Bay Rays. Are we, are, we, are we getting closer to maybe some ink? So it's probably a good time. Actually, actually, that's not a bad time to, to change your phone out, Rex. Maybe, maybe the phone gods were like, yeah, five years, that's, that's time for an upgrade. And with, the, you know, with phone technology improving on a year-to-year -year basis, you might be able to stretch out this current version of your phone lo even longer, Rex. You can probably go six, seven years if you wanted to. Hey, no worries, Chad. I appreciate you getting into the uh, the filler, taking a risk on that. The hobby gods deemed that you'll be rewarded this time around. I don't even know what those go for. Probably a decent amount. There's Rhino, Phillies edition. That'll be for Mark and the Phillies. We should just get the latest and greatest iPhone that's out now, whatever that is now. And then that phone could probably last you a decade if you, if you don't drop it. I'm on a... I'm, I'm looking for an upgrade pretty soon, too. I think I'm on a... I think I got a uh, Galaxy uh, 10, it's 91 out of 99, which came out I think maybe two or three years ago. So I think I've gone through, I'm not an every generation phone, I don't know, do people do that? People can't go phones every generation, right? Those things are GD expensive. But I feel like I usually try to maybe skip two generations before I get a new phone because I feel like that's enough of a change. I feel like if you go from year to year, you're not you're not going to notice the changes as much. You know, like if Rex when Rex gets a uh, a new phone, like the the difference between his phone and the one he gets this week, like that'll be like eye popping or it'll be like, "Oh my god, what what a what a difference." I want that feeling. There's Tommy John for the Yankees. Yeah, that Tommy John. That'll be for Rick and the Yankees. I feel like they should bring back the, uh, just for hipstery reasons, bring back a rotary, rotary dial cell phone. Well, and then bring those back. Someone should do that. There's Tony Gwynn, 22 out of 199. Mr. Padre. R.I.P. Gone too soon. But his son, uh, Anthony Gwynn, or Tony Gwynn Jr., does, uh, used to do some, uh, used to do some, some studio radio work, I think, for the Dodgers radio network. But now he's in San Diego, doing the San Diego broadcast, radio broadcast. The crazy thing is, his voice sounds almost exactly 
like his dad's. We're halfway through the break, boys and girls. Five more boxes. So it's kind of a trip. So if you're so like during the playoffs, um, I have the MLB app. There's Vlad Guerrero Jr. Greetings from Toronto, and you can listen to radio broadcasts on there. And so sometimes if I'm like taking a walk or on the driving range or something like that, I'll uh, I'll fire up a, a radio broadcast. And yeah, and so like hearing hearing his voice is always a little bit of a trip because um, it's always a little bit of a trip because uh, it sounds like his dad, like a younger version of his dad. Ooh, raw? That Wanderer sold for 144 bucks this Chad. Nice, good. Still selling well. I like it. Mike Tower wondering. That's a good question. Do, do they have a Mister for each team? Do they? Ladies and gentlemen, let me know what your team is and if you have a Mister for your team. I think I think they do call Tony Gwynn Mister Padre. I think Alan Trammell is uh, Mr. Tiger. Or is it Al Kaline? Al Kaline. Mr. Cub Ernie Banks, yeah. I don't know if they refer to Tommy Lasorda as, as Mr. Dodger. Maybe they do. I don't hear that nickname too often. <laughs> Chris Elvis is right. There is Mr. Met. If every team has a has one singular figure that represents their organization. Do they refer to Alvin Davis as Mr. Mariner? <laughs> there is there is the band Mr. Mister uh, with the hit song. What was it, Jonathan? Is it Eyes Without a Face? Uh, eyes without a face. <laughs> is, it, is that Mr. Mister or did they do something else? Eyes without a face also. That's kind of terrifying if you think about it. And we got a Jackson Coar. Is it a King's goal? King's playing the Preds tonight as well. Jackson Coar going to Mark and the Royals. Them would never be Royals. And Mr. Big. I don't know. Is is that a is that a Sex in the City reference, Rex? Sixty one out of one twenty five. Mark McGuire, Cardinals. That'll be for David. Oh, is it Broken Wings and Take? These broken wings. There's Giancarlo Stanton hit a dinger today. 12 out of 50 for Rick and the Yankees. What about what about broken wings? What about mighty wing? By uh, by cheap trick on the uh, Top Gun original Top Gun soundtrack. Do -do 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 Take me on your mighty wings tonight. Julio Rodriguez, Jackie with the Mariners. Mr. Mister is also Kyrie, but pronounced differently. I don't understand that one. Kyrie Ellison down the road. No, I don't. I don't understand that reference, Mike. That went over my head. Too much of a deep cut for me. 
Mr. Big was a band that did I'm the one that wants to be with you. I'm the one that I want. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm the one that I want. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes, indeed. That song, right? I'm the one that I want. Cho, cho, cho. 53 out of 199. Ichiro, Mariner's Edition, Jackie. Yeah, I'm losing. I think I slept weird a little last night. I think I uh, not not in like a bad way. I think I just I think I didn't. I woke up in the maybe in the middle of a REM cycle. I usually try to time my out my sleep hours correctly. I think I maybe have just woken up in the middle of a REM cycle. I feel like I haven't really woken up today. And there's Gavin, three sheets to the wind. White Sox. That'll be for David M, the White Sox. Yeah, I forgot how to sleep, Mike. Eyes without a face. Who did the song that goes, I'm sorry, but I just can't find the right words to say. Well, there have been some seasons, aren't you to be? And if I were to leave him, then me, I promise you, I promise you. I'm begging, please. Ah, you're the one they want from Greece, of course. Beauty school dropout. R.I.P. Olivia Newton John. Let's get physical, physical. I want to get physical. Let's get into physical. Let me hear your body talk. Let me hear your body talk. I want to get animal, animal. With all the remaking and rebooting, I'm surprised they haven't done Grease. You'd th you would think that, or have they? Maybe they have. You would think they would do Grease. Or maybe that's been on Broadway for so long, maybe no one really wants another, to see another movie of it. But I brought my guitar last Sunday, Crystal Beats. You missed it. Wait, no, not this past Sunday. Maybe the Sunday before that. And I do need to bring that, bring that around more often. We'll do some more sing-alongs. All right, do a little Jaspies Unplugged. Maybe I'll learn the whole original Top Gun soundtrack. Do some acoustic versions of that. That could be fun. Take my breath away. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Walking in slow motion. I don't know that I should learn the words. By the foolish love is is over by the ocean, something went the motion game. Right, go to the danger zone. Ooh. Another Gavin Sheets, this time a different number. My tower likes these. Uh, 
uh, that's 15 out of 25. Aw, Sheets. Gavin Sheets. The, uh, I don't know if people may know this already, the house that, uh, Kelly McGillis's house in Top Gun 1, 13 out of 25, I believe it's a house in Oceanside, which is near the, uh, near Camp Pendleton, for those of you who know the area. I think it's in Oceanside. And, um, I think it's a pie shop now. They kept the structure. It hasn't been torn down, believe it or not. 41 out of 125. Wayno for the Cardinals, David. It's still there. The, the Great Balls of Fire piano scene in Top Gun 1. I don't think that place... That place might still be there. I need, I need to double check. That's in downtown San Diego. And it used to be a nice... Uh, Kansas City barbecue place. I had some really great buffalo wings there. I don't know if that's still there. Might not be. I think it may have been there as recently as five or six years ago, but I think it may not be there anymore. It's a kind of valuable bit of real estate down there, but that was a cool spot to get some suds and some wings. There's an old naval officer's base in the Point Loma area. I guess they call it Liberty Station now, which has now been bought back, sold back to the city. And now it's like, there's like nice restaurants and grocery stores and like community stuff that's there. But the one of the hallways there is the hallway where after uh, Kelly McGillis tells Tom Cruise that that was a textbook maneuver of what not to do, which kind of pissed him off. And then he's like walking down the hallway and she's following him behind him and, she, and she's like, Lieutenant, Lieutenant. There's Jake Berger, more White Sox for, for David. That, that build, that structure is still, that hallway, that long hallway is still there. My assessment of what I saw out there was spot on. Yeah, but I held something back. That's some of the most brilliant flying that I've ever seen in my entire life. But I couldn't say that in there. Because I thought everyone there would see through me. <laughs> and those aren't the words, but... And then everyone know that I've fallen for you. Boom, 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 boom. Actually, she doesn't say that there. There's a car chase scene. He gets on a bike, on a motorcycle, and he revs it up, and he's like, what? Sorry, I can't hear you. And he drives off, and then she... Flies off after him. In what car is that? Does can anyone identify the car that that she drives? I want to say it's some sort of. Uh, I want to say it's some sort of some sort of Porsche, nineteen sixties era Porsche. Spider maybe. I think it's a Porsche, right? Like a vintage Porsche. Grizzlebees. Grizzlebees saying it's a Porsche. It's a nice car. Jennifer Connelly's Porsche is nice, too. At the end of Top Gun Maverick. Not that I'm into Top Gun or anything like that. Diego's saying it's a 58 Porsche. Nice. I wouldn't mind one of those. Or the... Uh, what was the car that what was the car that Dustin Hoffman drives in uh, in The Graduate? I think is that I think that's an Alfa Romeo Spider, maybe a little two seater.
Is Field of Dreams the most iconic movie location that you can still visit? I think so. I mean, unless you, unless you don't count, unless you don't count, um, like cities, <laughs> like you can visit Los Angeles. We shot a lot of stuff here. You can go to downtown LA and walk the walk the uh, streets in the financial district where they shot the gunfighting scene in the movie Heat. I'm working on it, Spartan. Working on it. Uh, he's definitely an excellent driver in Rain Man. Cadillac? In Rain Man? Probably have to sell a few more, a uh, few more archives cases before we can start making that uh, that vintage Porsche money. Grizzlebees went to the candy shop that they filmed the the dinner scene in the Natural. It's in Buffalo. Nice. That's right, Diego. You can always visit Tombstone. So that's a place you can still visit. I'm your Huckleberry. Say when. There you go. Thank you, Spartan. A little extra info. The car, the car in Top Gun was a 19. The one, uh, I forget what her call sign is in that movie, but whatever Kelly McGillis' character was driving in Top Gun was a 1958 Porsche 356 Speedster. And... Future stars? Did I miss a future stars? It's a variation. Charlie, call sign Charlie. But she's a civilian, Diego. You do not have to salute her. She's a civilian contractor. Wait, was there a wander variation? Too much Top Gun talk. And I wonder, wonder, who wrote the book of love? Are you sure you guys weren't thinking of looking at this, the Randy Arazarania Future Stars? Because this is the regular Randy Arazarania. Yeah, no, I think I think it was this Randy Arazarania. All right, here's an Aaron Rowan, Phillies autograph going to Mark.
<laughs> Gee, it's gonna take a lot more fillers uh, for for me to get uh, <laughs> to get vintage Porsche money, and I have to sell more fillers, even more fillers after that, to even maintain it. There's Richie Ashburn to 25, old Philly. Got Pedro Guerrero for the Dodgers. It'll be for Stephen K. Dodgers edition. I was a Dodger for a long time, and then went to the went to the Cardinals in that World Series season. It's to one fifty. What other uh, top gun sets can you still see? Um, I went to, uh, is that a third auto? Jeff Jenkins. I guess there was a box with just one auto, so I guess it evens out now. There's Jeff Jenkins. Brew crew. That'll be for John. Got randomized the brewers in the, uh, the filler. I went to college in San Diego. Um at UC San Diego, which is near La Jolla. And just down the way, there's Mo, 19 out of 99, Prince. Just down the way was a uh, Miramar Air Base. So you had the, uh, the pleasant sounds of uh, F-18s screeching overhead. It's pretty awesome. That goes to the Yankees, Rick T. Penultimate box, two left. Speaking of San Diego, there he is, Fernando Tatis Jr., the motorcyclist, the ringwormist. There's one time. Uh, I believe back in, back in the day, I don't know when this was, back in the day, and the F-18 fell, crashed into a neighborhood, like right near there. It was kind of scary at the time. People, people were in the house. It was not good. bad. I did not see... So there were, there were confirmed three autos in the last box. That makes up for the one auto box, Jonathan. I think you're right. I think I've been keeping track of the autos right up front here, so so it all evens out in the end. I did not see the marching band performance of Notre, uh, what, Notre Dame marching band tribute to Top Gun. Did they play all the hits? Danger Zone, Berlin, Cheap Trick, the uh, the Top Gun theme by Harold. Altmeyer or something like that. Somewhere over the Indian Ocean. That's twice. I want some butts.
That's right, yeah. Kenny Loggins is playing with the boys. Playing with the boys. Playing with the boys. After chasing sunsets. One of the simple joys is the boys. There is Brian De La Cruz. Rookie auto for the fish. Aaron with the Marlins. There are some other not as good songs on that sound. It's not a perfect soundtrack. There are some clunkers on there. I think there's like a Miami Sound Machine song that's on there that's uh that's maybe not very good. So we got Danger Zone, Kenny Loggins, Mighty Wings, Playing with the Boys. Uh, lead me on. I'm not sure what that is. That that's the Tina Marie song. I don't remember that one. Take my breath away. Yeah, Miami Sound Machine's Hot Summer Nights. Lover Boy's Heaven in Your Eyes, Through the Fire, Destination Unknown. Then the then the theme. Yeah, Harold Faltermeyer. And I think they ended up adding. Looks like some additional additions have added like. Other songs referenced in the movie, Otis Redding, Sitting on the Dock of the Bay, and Great Balls of Fire. Wait, is that different? That's different. There you go. Chad, and uh, a uh, variation of this late 80s design. And a couple Bobby Wood Juniors for Mark. Might just be an it might be an image variation, but I don't know. I I, I don't know how short printed that is. Jonathan saying that's a big image variation. Look it up, Chad. Yeah, Kenny Loggins was, was like the man of the '80s. You want you want like a hit song for your movie? Call up Loggins, not Messina. You're not calling Messina, All right? But you're definitely calling Loggins, though. Sorry, Messina. Even though we ain't got money, I'm so in love with you, honey. And every day is mine. Even though when I ride, tears go to my eyes. Tell me everything's gonna be alright. Oh, Jose Canseco. Sorry. Busy singing Loggins. That might be Loggins and Messina in that song. Or is that solo Loggins? I don't know. There you go. One of those sold for 152. Plus that other one, the numbered one for 144. It's a Chad kind of day. This is Jackie Robinson, 49 out of 50 on that one. Stephen Kendrick with my Dodgers. I think Loggins also wrote What a Fool Believes, that popularized by uh, Michael McDonald. Maybe Michael McDonald and uh, his, his band that he's in. Blanking on the band. You came from somewhere about it. That's right, Footloose. Yeah. Classics.
Apparently, uh, Top Gun Maverick, apparently uh, Loggins not approached to do a song for Top Gun Maverick. Or to do a new song. Which I guess that makes sense. What's Loggins doing these days? Loggins is 74? Oh, Eric Leal has the A's. Oh, Loggins is 74. I think Loggins, Loggins is still touring. Oh, he is touring. Wow, Loggins is going to be at Pala Casino in Pala, California, Friday, November 11th? Hmm. And he'll be at the Canyon, at the Sabin Theater in Beverly Hills in late January. That's in two different places I can see Loggins. If you're in Clearwater, Florida on December 13th and December 15th, Loggins will be there. I can request a show. There's a link on it, kennyloggins.com slash tour. Point your browsers there. There's a, there's a little button that says request a show. Or is this just a sneaky way to get me on their mailing list? I think it's a sneaky way of getting me on their mailing list, on their email list. It'd be like... Hermosa Beach, Jaspi, sports cards and collectibles. Let's do a show here, login. All right, this is the last box. We made it. Thanks to Top Gun. Grizzlebee's done. Booked him for your nine-year-old's birthday party. He can do house at Pooh's Corner. Maybe he'll dress up as Winnie the Pooh. And then do House of Pooh's Corner. Not like that scary zombie Winnie the Pooh, though. That movie's coming out, and that's, that looked terrifying. There's Tim Hudson. Braves. Jared with the Bravos. Gonna have a Top Gun Footloose party. That'd be a good party. Are we all invited? Oh, Chad Dahl, look at this. You were curious about what the minis look like? They look like this. So compared to another card, it's about that size. So this Brandon Marsh goes to uh, Franklin and the Angels. Right, it's the age-old question. Do the kids want Barney at their at their nine-year-old's birthday party or do they want do they want Loggins? It is indeed a big mini. That's what they call it. And those aren't too common either. They must be pretty short printed. I think I've seen it's not like a one per case thing. It must be like one every other case or something like that. There's Jonathan India. She smelled like turpentine and looked like India ink. I held my nose. I closed my eyes. I took a sip. I didn't know if it was day or night. I started kissing everything inside. But when I kissed a cop, I got levy for a fine. Took my little bottle of love. Love potion number nine. Bobby Wood Jr.
There'll be at some point in the Phillies Padres series where Aaron Nola is going to face Austin Nola, his brother. I did, Rex. There it is. There's the size comparison, mini. Yeah, Frank. It's got, it's got some halos in here. Another Wander Franco in that design. And I wonder, wonder, who wrote the book of love? I'm a wonder, I'm a wonder, and I wonder, wonder, wonder. What other Wander songs are out there? If I uh, if I kept up with my um, my piano playing, maybe I could have been an organist for a uh, for a sports team. I can play play all these songs that are loose references to references all that, and we got Greg Maddox the pro yeah Wonderwall you're my Wonderwall, Greg Maddox, Mad Maddox. Braves, Jared with the Braves. And there's Ryan Mountcastle, Patrick Wisdom, and Cody Bellinger to finish things off. That's it. That was 2022 Tops Archives Baseball 10 box picker team number five. Picker team six in the store. I could sing Stevie Wonder songs. All right. Um, you know, can't think of any right now. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? There you go. You got got it. Got it, Gilo. Before the video is over. There you go. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next sing-along. Bye-bye.